evening viewers and happy new years to one and all. Welcome to the first edition of the Social Development Outlook for Tuesday 10, 2023. I am still your host, Remy Gums. And just as a reminder, these programs are hosted and coordinated by the Communications Unit within the Ministry of Social Development and every single week we will perpetually try our utmost to showcase the essential performances within this ministry and other related departments. At this point in time, we'll take our first break and be right back. And while we are still on the heels of Christmas, we have two Christmas tree lighting events we would like to show you. On Sunday 18th December, the Cherry Gardens community held their Christmas tree lighting on their hard court, whilst on Monday 19th December, the community of Bath held their own. We will now display some excerpts from these events respectively. At this moment, I would like to recognize the Honorable Premier. Mark Brantley, also the Community Development Officer for St. John's, Mrs. or Miss Malva Rollins, also the Director for Community Development, Janet Maloney, I see you in between there. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. I would also like to recognize Ms. Shamaya Newton, the individual who birthed the precious child in Natalia Newton. Thank you for gracing us with your presence, Honorable Premier. From north to south, from east to west, Cherry Garden is the best. Welcome one, welcome all. This Christmas season, we're going to have a ball. Yeah. I have come to say Merry Christmas. Remy and I spoke so many weeks ago and indicated to me that Cherry Gardens hadn't had an event like this in quite some time. And I said to him, let us put something together, get the community together, let us see if we can bring people together because that is really what this is all about and that is really what Christmas should be all about. The truth be told that as the good pastor said, Cherry Gardens is a complex community. It is not a community that grew up organically, it's a community that was put together. And so you have people from disparate groups, disparate backgrounds, you have people from Sinkets, people from Nevis, people from even farther afield who call Cherry Gardens home. The purpose of events like this is really to bring people together. And I'm happy that I am here, I'm happy that we can celebrate this event and celebrate the season and to have Shamoya here and to do so in the memory of young Natalia who as we know we lost some short while ago and so ladies and gentlemen I am happy to be here I'm happy to remind us all that while all of us like to receive things for Christmas everybody wants a gift everybody wants to receive some ham and turkey Christmas really is not about receiving. Christmas is actually about giving. And if we recognize why we have Christmas, we would recognize that Christmas really came about because God sent his son to die so that we could be saved. So really, Jesus gave his life for us, and he came because that was God's gift to man. So Christmas really is about looking out for each other. And I'm hopeful that as we go through this season, we recognize that not everybody is in the same position. That some of you are in a better financial position than your neighbor, perhaps. And that what you will do is when you cook a little something on Christmas Day, pass something over the fence. Find that young mother, that elderly person, that gentleman who you know isn't working, 
and see whether or not you could give them some Christmas cheer. Cherry Gardens, I believe that you can be a leader on the island of Nevis. The chairperson says that he can't find a better name, a sweeter name than Cherry Gardens. Let us also use this to reflect the nature of the community. And I'm hopeful that this Christmas you can continue that rich tradition of looking out for each other. That really is what we're about. That has to be what the island of Nevis is about. And that has to be the essence of Christmas. and privilege to propose the vote of thanks for this memorable occasion, the Cherry Garden Christmas Tree Lighting, with special tribute to Natalia Newton Roberts. May her soul continue to rest in peace. Let me, first of, first of all, start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making tonight's occasion a resounding success. First and foremost, I thank Mr. Anthony Lawrence for invoking God's presence, and also Ajari Cornelius for reading the scripture. We are grateful to our chair, Remy Gums. I also want to immense pleasure to thank Honorable Mark Brantley for taking time out of his busy schedule. As he mentioned, we had the swearing-in ceremony today. Mr. Premier, we thank you for giving those remarks, and we are happy that you are here. To our entertainers, the CG dancers for their beautiful dance, Tavia Huggins and Duchess Hutton for their lovely poems, Lauren Barry for, the, for, for, the, for that melodious singing, 
and the young vibrations who did vibrate the atmosphere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have made it a mem memorable one. We owe special gratitude to our special guest, Miss Shamaya Newton. We know how much this means to you, and we are grateful to have you here with us. May God continue to keep you strong. I want to thank all of those who are present and for coming out to support this event tonight. We also want to thank all of those who worked so hard in making this function a resounding success. Last but not least, I want to highlight some of the persons and institutions to say thank you to you as tonight would not be possible without your assistance. Honorable Mark Grantley, Ms. Idella Newton, Tash Electrical, Ms. Kamisha Powell and Sajipur, King Astra Brown, the Public Works Department, Mr. Cuthbert, England and Godfather. Once again, thank you to all for your attention. Thank you. without Jesus Christ. It is a holiday full of stuff. Money and stress, teaching kids greed. Some people are saying enough. Love one another, our Savior said. It's all about love, not things. Let's teach our children how to create and serve the real joy that true Christmas brings. Pleasant good evening to, to all. I'm delighted to be here this evening. Let me recognize our patron. Miss um, Sheila Atherton, say a special good night to you. Love being in Bath. I've been coming to Bath since I'm a, a little boy, so um, I feel very comfortable in the village of Bath. And of course, it's the Christmas season, and Christmas is a time where we take some time out to reflect on the year gone by, and we take some time to also look into the future and um, look at what we hope we would want to do in the coming new year. So Christmas, of course, is a time for reflection and a time for looking forward. For the children among us, Christmas is a time to look forward to getting gifts, to getting um, toys, and to getting a lot of attention. As a youngster growing up, I, um, I spent a lot of time in church. I, um, I was raised in the church. And so Christmas for me as a youngster centered around the birth of Jesus Christ. And you know, it is said that if you train up a child in the way that the child should go, that when he is old, he will not depart from it. And <laughs> Even though some of us grow older and we get involved in things that are secular, the grounding is still there. And so when it comes to this time of year, it is an opportunity for us to reflect on the birth of Jesus and what it means for us. And 
what it means is God became flesh and became as one of us. And the whole idea was that he sacrificed so that um, man could atone for the sins that we had committed way back when and for the sins that we continue to commit today. Everybody, look out to this Christmas. 
what takes so long to come that the people they make sure that you get a royal welcome. And you welcome home with the holy Jesus babe who burn all our sinful soul to save. Man, oh, you should see the festivity. The nigger business, the maca me. The Johnny Walker, the Big Drum, the String Band, the Steel Band, the Village Band, and the Maka Drum, we are all on the top. Good evening. I bring season greetings to everyone gathered here this evening. May God, may God continue to bless each and every one of you, and do have a wonderful Christmas. Madam Chia, allow me to adopt the protocol established. But I want to specially recognize the presence of the Honorable Troy Library. I have the distinct honor and pleasure this evening to speak about the patron, Ms. Sheila Werner Atterton, who happened to be my mother. If there is anyone who can write a script, produce a movie, or tell a tale about her life, it would be one of her children. Ms. Atterton was born on 20th September, 1964, to Albertine Mills and Frank Tyson and her journey from then to now is synonymous with the evolution and growth of Bat Village. Please lend me your ears as I give you a snippet of my mother's contribution to Bat Village. Mommy is one of those persons who have experienced the great and the not so great times of our beloved Bat Village. But in spite of the ups and downs, she has always been embedded in the community in one way or the other. Just as Bad Village has seen a continuous evolution over the years, Mommy has also grown and evolved as an individual. From a struggling teen mother to a proud mother of successful adult children, from a young woman who lived through difficult economic times to being able to now live comfortably. From sometimes no key attitude to now being ever present in the house of the Lord. I am very proud to have witnessed this growth. We want to thank you for accepting the honor to be our patron tonight. And as we light the Christmas tree, we want you to remember this evening. You know, everything in life has its trials, and at the end of the trial, there's a great rejoicing. So hopefully, at the end of the night, you shall see the beauty of the Christmas tree through all the seasons that we've gone through for the last nine, ten days that we're trying to get this true light. Thank you so much for your patience and thank you for accepting to be our patron tonight. Give a round of applause, please. That's our package for this evening. I am your host, Remy Gums, bidding you a pleasant night's rest. And remember, tune in next Tuesday for another edition of the Social Development Outlook. We are now on Facebook and YouTube. Like, share, subscribe.